everyone welcome back to my channel kgfl creations this is another episode of friday sews today i'm going to show you the metra blazer that i made for my daughter before we get into anything else i just want to do a little bit of a housekeeping here um last friday i did the drawing for the 50 dollar love notions pattern um gift card yeah it's a gift card it's a virtual gift card uh and the winner was elena 64 69 44 but until now i have not received an email from elena i have not seen any comments from her i don't know what's what's going on so i am still waiting to see if she's going to claim the gift card if she doesn't i'm going to wait a couple more weeks because you know she is the winner of the uh, gift card but i'm going to wait and see if she does not claim it then i might just do another drawing same thing that i did last week uh with the uh, spinning of the wheel and then i might just uh, pick somebody else so we'll see we'll see what happens as you all know, Friday Sews is the day that we talk about what we've been up to in the sewing room, what our plans for the weekend and the following week, and also talk a little bit about life. So now let's start and let's talk about what's been going on here in the sewing room. Like I told you last week, I had picked up a piece of fabric from my stash. Yes, I am sewing the stash. Uh, green fabric from my stash that I thought it was a ponty knit. I'm not sure ponty knit or just a regular um, double breast poly or something. It's nice and thick. So one of the other. I'm not sure. I don't have the label, so I don't know. So I did make the Metra blazer for my daughter. So I have it here as usual, hanging on my tripod. So this is the Metra blazer. Like I told you, I said that I thought that she was going to ask for the uh, pointed uh, lapel, the wide lapel. Yeah, that's what it's called, the wide lapel. And she did go for the wide lapel. It looks so, so good on her. Um, I did, I forgot to put a label up here. And I also did not serge the inside because this is not going to fray at all. This is not, that's not happening. So I decided not to put any um, any surging on the inside. That was not necessary. And this came out really, really, let me just come here. This came out really, really good. I really like it. I also made one for me with the white lapel and I really liked it. So she chose that. I want to show you my pockets. Look at these pockets. They came out really, really good. And the other one too. There is no spacing at all in the pockets. I hope you can see it right there. You know something that I used this time that I didn't have last time? I use my little stiletto. This little thing right here. As I was going, because when you're sewing the pocket, you cannot see. You can only feel the welt pocket in between the two layers of fabric. So what I was doing is I was going down and feeling where the edge was and I was stitching just right there. So this little thing, it's really, really handy. I really like my little um, stiletto. I use this a lot. So this here I made also, I made a size extra large uh, for her. I made the size extra large because this does not have any buttons or anything. So it's not tight here up front. So I made the extra large because she's smaller up here, but she has uh, nice hips. So extra large was just enough. I had, I opened up a little bit. I just opened up a little bit in the biceps here and I had to shorten the whole thing by about an inch. The uh, arm, um, the sleeves, I think it was more than an inch. I think it was like an inch and a half because at the end I had to kind of pull it in and, and uh, when I did the uh, hems here, uh, yeah, I had to kind of <laughs> fold it up about an inch for the bodice and here it was about an inch and a half because she is only, I think she's 5'1 or 5'2. Yeah, she's a petite lady. Yeah, so this is really, really good. She is going to take this on her trip next week that's why i made it where she's going it's not that cold 
but it's not warm like here in Florida. It's like in between, I think it's going to be between 60 and 70 degrees. Uh, during the day plus she's going to be inside with in uh, ac so a nice little blazer will be good with uh, um, from where she's going so what are the plans that i have for this weekend and the following week well this weekend i want to do a blouse for my daughter uh, because she's going in, on this trip next week i have to do something pretty quick so it's going to be something that it's nice and easy for uh, this weekend so i pulled this fabric here it is a nice blue fabric yeah like a navy blue with birds it is a nice and soft fabric we purchased this from joanne i don't know if you can see it here joanne right there i don't know if it says anything yeah I don't know what this is. This feels like a um, silky type. I think I have it in my Trello account as a silky type um, fabric. And I will be making a blouse for her. Don't know which blouse is going to be. She still has to choose something. But it has to be something that is not too complicated because I only have this weekend <laughs> to whip this up and make something for her. So I'll be dedicating my whole weekend to making this blouse and hopefully cross my fingers that I can get this done and make a nice little blouse for her out of this fabric. So something else that I also want to make for myself, it's the new uh, pattern that was released by Cashmerat is for the club members only. So I did get the uh, all, all access um, to the Cashmerat club. And uh, so there is a nice little, um, dome and sleeve uh, shirt that she came out. Um, Whitney from Tomcat Stitchery, she does have a sew along for this one shirt. I think it's called the Has Haskell, if I'm saying that right, Haskell shirt. And it's a pretty way of, it's a pretty different way of doing the top here with the burrito method. It's different, very interesting. I did watch the whole video by uh, Whitney and that was really, really interesting. So I want to do that. So. I'm going to print that pattern. I'm going to put it all together and see right after I finish with my daughter's blouse, I will get into making uh, the new Haskell by Cashmerat. Now let's talk a little bit about life. What's been going on? Not much, not much has been going on. Things are pretty slow here at home, just trying to catch up on everything back at work from uh, you know my time out on my vacation. So everything is now back the way I like it. Now I'm just trying to catch up with all of my sewing, trying to use a lot of the fabrics I have in my stash as per my last uh, video from uh, last Tuesday. I am trying to sew, sew down my stash so I have to keep going and keep going and keep going. I have not purchased any other fabric so that is really really good. And uh, another thing that I also wanted to say, I did go to Hobby Lobby today. Today is Wednesday. I am filming on a Wednesday. I went to Hobby Lobby because in my uh, sewing group, you know, the sewing group that we get together every Saturday, they were talking about uh, the new look patterns that are on sale at Hobby Lobby. And there's also some YouTube videos about people talking that they purchase uh, new look uh, patterns for 99 cents. So today, everybody on my WhatsApp was talking about it, talking about it. I'm like, okay, let me go to uh, Hobby Lobby. And I get there, there is no sale of new look uh, patterns. I opened a drawer and they're all nicely put in the drawers. Nothing, nothing happening. At the other places, the ladies were saying that they are not in the drawer. They're outside by the clearance. So I did go and talk to the lady, one of the um, uh, people that work at Hobby Lobby, and she said that not all, every Hobby Lobby is the same. They do get things differently at different times. It depends on how they are moving things around, and it's not in the weekly um, sale ad. So, and I did show her the picture that I, you know, one of the ladies had sent me, and it showed that it was 99 cents. Um, clearance or something that was a red tag on it and the lady said you see this red tag it's just they're trying to clear it we might get it here 
uh, um, shipment that we can put outside for click for clearance or for sale or something but right now we don't have anything so I was like mm, I was very like wah, wah. <laughs> that my Hobby Lobby did not have the 99 new look sale I went there quickly after work but that did not happen no new look for 99 cents for me here in South Florida at least for my Hobby Lobby here. I don't know about the other Hobby Lobbies in other counties or anything here in Florida. I don't know, but my Hobby Lobby close to home did not have new look for 99 cents. Okay, so that's pretty much what I have for you guys today. I wanted to show you the um, uh, Metra blazer that I made for my daughter. I did have to go back and watch Karina again because there was one little portion that I could remember how to go about so I had to put her on my TV again so I can watch her just for a little bit that one section that I wasn't so sure up here I couldn't remember how how she did the top here how she made the little um, curve right here not a curve the corners right here so I had to go and watch it again but it's okay you know I watch Karina all the time she's pretty good for a bunch of stuff so if you like this video please hit that like button below and if you can also subscribe it will mean a lot to me and Elena6944 please send me an email watch the video you are the winner of the gift card for love notions the $50 gift card send me an email so I can send you the gift card all right I will see you guys on my next video Bye.